Hello everyone. Uh, I am going to show today how to choose uh, sequins and how to choose uh, Swarovski crystals and rhinestones and how to choose your glitter whenever you're creating artwork and what glues to use. And also other mediums that will help you add a little shine to your artwork. So the first thing I want to show is um, the different kinds of sequins that are around and I'm, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong but sequins, sequins. They are many different sizes. I believe this one is about five millimeters and this is a cupped, let me see if I can maybe show a little more, but this is a cupped um, sequin. And uh, there's different kinds of cup. They're slightly cupped. Let's see if I can show that one there. They're slightly cupped. There's very cupped and uh, there's flat and flat is my favorite and um, flat comes in different sizes they all come in different sizes and they all come in different um, in different finishes so for example if you wanted a metallic finish you could find sequences that were a metallic finish and actually this is a metallic and um, this is a flat finish a flat satin finish these are also um, sat flatten, and they're really neat. I really like them. And I got them at Cartwrights. Uh, if you go to ccartwright.com, you can uh, get yours there. And they have all sorts of different ones. And they're also very affordable. Like a baggie like that would be about a dollar twenty-five. And the glue that you would use with this would be this kind of glue, which you also would use for Swarovski crystals. Uh, <clears throat> that called uh, create your style with sort of scale elements and um, I like this glue it uh, it uh, glues it dries transparent I don't like uh, anything like Eileen's glue or 3d jewelry's glue because it turns yellow so I don't use that you could also use uh, something like this this type of glue but this is really gl glitter glue so for Swarovski's, uh, a rhinestone and a Swarovski are two different things. And I have here some actual crystals. And a Swarovski crystal is actually a piece of glass. And um, that sometimes gets treated with fire and um, it, to give it a shine. And this one is an AB shine. And they're actually very pretty. And uh, they come in all different sizes and their backs. Uh, sometimes come with um, glue so you could heat apply them to paper a plastic rhinestone is just that it's a piece of plastic that has been shaped into like a little gem um, they're not very fancy they're not very pretty but um, they do the job if you're in a pinch and you want to just create something pretty they're also very expensive the Swarovski crystals not the rhinestones they're very expensive, so you have to take that into consideration whenever you're creating a, a piece of art. And you can use these little pinchers here to, to put them down. You can also use this for, to put down se uh, sequins. Um, uh, and also to, uh, to glue them, you would use this glue. Now for, uh, for glitter, I use ultra fine glitter, nothing else. There's different kinds of glitter, and this one's from Martha Stewart. And uh, Martha Stewart has a really nice selection of colors. The thing about the Martha Stewart collection is that it's not very fine. I don't know if it can be viewed, but it's, it's not very fine. And But it's great uh, for any project that you might have. It's, it's still a great uh, option. The Ultra Fine, however, has a really nice quality. Uh, and what I like about it is that even after you've put some, uh, you've put some uh, glitter down, you still have this area where it kind of just coats it. And if it, the light hits it just so, you can see the iridescence on it. This one as well. I don't know if it can be shown on camera, but there's like a glow in between the rows of, uh, of glitter. Uh, one thing that I don't like whenever I apply glitter is the sick pen. That's why I have this little bit here. Whenever I use the 
uh, glitter, I try, I like it when it's an even spread, kind of like this. Except I don't like the feel of this goopy glue. And if you're watercoloring underneath, you might end up running the colors under. So the best thing to do is actually not to use any glue and just spray it with fixative. Or if you really want a little glue, just use your finger and just spread it and make a really thin um, a line, a little thin application of glue and then put your, put your glitter down. But I, I really like, the reason I like the uh, ultra fine is because you have the color and the iridescence and it just gives you like a couple of layers of color and it looks really pretty. There's also metallic glitter, which I, I'm not very big on. I don't use it much, but uh, it's, it's nice to have in case you have a, a specific look that you want to do. And uh, I use... Uh, I try to just use, I don't like this as much, but when I do use it, I just press down and I try to make a, a, a thin, a thin application on the paper. Another thing that I use to make a shiny, the, the paint shiny actually, is iridescent medium. And the iridescent medium is just that. Something that you add to, uh, to a watercolor. Let me just shake it. You need to shake it before you use it and uh, what it is is just something shiny that you apply either to the paint or to the paper itself after you've painted so after you're done painting you just add a layer of this and it's like a pearl it makes it look pearled and I really like this one uh, I like this particular thing a lot, um, especially if you're doing uh, satin looks and things like that. It's not something I use all the time, but it's it's a great solution whenever you don't have glitter or you've run out. The glitter I use, this one, I do get it from Cartwright as well. This was actually recommended by another artist, and uh, it's, it's a great source for uh, glitter and uh, beads as well as sequins. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to add them to the comment section and uh, I would love to hear from you. Please like and comment and subscribe.